Welcome to Savi IT Solutions. In the previous video, we are explaining about if else in theoretically. Now we are explaining the same concept in practically. So here I am using Turbo C++ compiler for running C programs. Okay. So in this video, we need to learn about greatest of two numbers using if else similarly. Uh, leap year, check the given year is leap year or not next one is check the given number is even number or odd number and the fourth one is the second number is factor of first number or not finally we need to check the given number is positive number or not we need to explain these five programs in this session okay so the first one is um, greatest of two using if else ok so hash include stdio dot h and the second one second header file I call is conio dot h so wide main so the next is we need to in the first program we are discussing about greatest of two numbers so we need to read two variables okay after that we need to read the two numbers a and b first we declared it and followed by we are reading enter two values ok so here I am using scanf percentage d percentage d and percent a comma b so after this we need to check the condition a greater than b if this is true then we need to print percentage d is greatest comma a so keep on using slash n and else we need to print slash n percentage d is greatest b so now we compile this program no errors so successfully it moves and the two values 10 comma 20 it gives 20 is the greatest similarly again we, i am giving 20 and 10 also greatest of two numbers will be 20 is printed so the second program i am going to explain is leap year or not leap if else ok so hash include stdio dot standard input output header file hash include conio dot h console input output header file this is not available in ubuntu means uh, unix or uh, linux operating system but it supports windows ok um, now we need to find leap year so the variable name is y declarations are done before uh, clear screen clr scr so now we are reading the value of the year so selection enter the year scan of percentage d comma ampersand y so after that we will check y mod 4 is equal to 0 we need to print f 
percentage d is leap year comma y else print f percentage d is non leap year comma y so while compiling no errors while running the program 2000 is given sorry so it gives wrong input so 2000 leap year at the same time 199 non leap year okay now we are moving to the third program even number or odd number using if else even odd if else okay so hash include stdio dot h similarly hash include conio dot h wide main okay here we need to read only one value that is int n so we need to writing the program of even number or not okay print f slash n enter number so scan f percentage d and percent n if n mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 print of percentage d is even number comma n else print f percentage d is odd number yeah so we need to compile no errors while running it so two even number will be printed similarly nine odd number will be printed so till we completed three programs we need to do two more programs okay so in the next one is second number is factor of first number or another okay so hash include std io dot h hash include conia dot h wide main so here i need to read two values int a comma b clr scr and get ch okay so here we need to read two values print f enter two values scan up so here percentage d percentage d so after reading it we need to check a mod b is equal to is equal to 0 print f percentage d is factor of percentage d b comma a else 
printf percentage is not a factor of percentage d b comma a okay of we need to compile the program we need to run it so 10 comma 20 so 20 is not a factor of 10 again we need to run it so 10 5 so 5 is a factor of 10 so till we are discussing four programs one more program is left that is positive number check the given number is positive number or not so pos n is e if else ok hash include std io dot h hash include ponyo dot h wide main so here we need to read only one variable so we need to read that value enter number scan of percentage d m percent n so after that we need to check if n greater than equal to 0 we need to print percentage d is positive number else int f percentage d is negative number so we need to compile the program we while running it so minus 10 it grins negative number and plus 10 it gives positive number so with this we are completing um, if else in practically in the next video we are making video on nested if else theoretically as well as the practical thank you